Serving all of San Diego, this is your Fox 5 News. Talks of a ceasefire continue in the Middle East, but so do the rounds of rockets and missiles between Israel and Hamas militants. It's already Tuesday morning there, and more than 100 rockets have been fired into Israel already. And the Israeli army has suffered its first casualty in the conflict. The U.S. sent Secretary of State Hillary Clinton to the region to help with peace negotiations. Meanwhile, back here at home, many are gathering in support of peace efforts. Fox 5's Walter McCalla was with them in La Jolla tonight and had has more on what happened in the region over the last 24 hours. In La Jolla, a call for peace. With uh, over a thousand rockets fired at civilian targets in the last week alone, I can't imagine what that would be like if we in San Diego faced such a thing. War is always bad, and we know that you know a lot of people will be injured, a lot of people will be killed. Thousands of miles away, a much different picture. One of violence, destruction, and death. Rockets continue to be fired from both sides of the Israel-Gaza conflict. In southern Israel, a crowd gathers where a Gaza rocket landed. Sirens sounded in Jerusalem as Palestinians fired a rocket towards the holy city. It landed harmlessly on the outskirts. More than 120 Palestinians have been killed in the strikes many civilians, and more than 800 injured. At least three Israelis have been killed and dozens injured. The number of Israeli casualties kept down by the Iron Dome, a rocket defense system in Israel developed with U.S. funding. In Gaza City, Hamas militants publicly executed six people suspected of collaborating with Israel. They were brought to a major intersection and shot in the head as a large crowd cheered on the militants. International leaders are scrambling to bring the fighting to an end. President Obama sent Secretary of State Hillary Clinton to the region to broker a ceasefire agreement. America's commitment to Israel's security is rock solid and unwavering. That is why we believe it is essential to de-escalate the situation in Gaza. But Clinton also said a ceasefire agreement will benefit all of the people in the region. The goal must be a durable outcome that promotes regional stability and advances the security and legitimate aspirations of Israelis and Palestinians alike. 